Good afternoon. Uh, hope everybody in quarantine land. Uh, I am here today because there, there's been a little bit of confusion uh, because the real estate world had been called uh, a, a uh, what's the, the essential an essential business, which we all know that it is. But we have some limitations still, and so I wanted to explain to everybody, we have, uh, we, we got a, an important guideline from the um, Monterey County Association of Realtors today, and this is what, this is the, these are the guidelines for us. We cannot do open houses. Properties cannot be shown in person. Even vacant homes, we cannot go in them. Um, no person-to-person -person contact. All of the uh, meetings that we have should be done virtually. So even though they have changed real estate to be an essential business in Monterey County, we can't show you property. We can't meet you at properties, even if they're vacant, and show them to you. We have to do it virtually, which a lot of agents have been doing a very good job of. And I can do that as well because we have the tools to do that. Um, I wanted to also give you a market update and let you know about the stats and what's really been happening in the market since all of this um, has been going on because uh, people have been asking about that too. So let me, let me tell you what's been happening. So, uh, okay, let me see here. Um, so I have the hot sheet and I just wanna, let me give you for the past week what's been happening in Monterey County. This is, this is the whole entire county. So we have one coming soon and that's a listing, that's a compass listing in Salinas I have two listings coming, one in Pacific Grove and one in Seaside. Um, there were 38 new listings, and then it says here 42 active. So I think there are 42 new active listings in Monterey County. And if you look, they're, they're in all price ranges from Greenfield all the way to Pebble Beach and Carmel Valley. There were uh, 21 price increases, which is interesting and there were 55 price reductions, and there were 21 contingent properties that went contingent. Now, what that means is that there were 21 accepted offers last week. So either those were pe people that saw houses virtually and made an offer and had them accepted, or they were properties that they had seen previously and were on the fence, and then they just decided on them. I don't know what, you know, how they saw them, but 21 went contingent last week and 55 closed. Now people are worried about the loans. And I spoke with a lender yesterday and he said that the loans are fine. There's some delays in some of them, but even if you start a new loan now, um, they're doing desktop appraisals because I, I had, I called them because I have a situation and so he looked at the address and he said that the house that that I'm going to write on I don't even need an appraisal so some of the houses you, they're doing drive-bys and just taking pictures of them and some are they're doing desktop where they just do it on the computer so uh, it's it's a weird time but that's how that is going and then Temporarily off the market last week, 12 houses were te temporarily off the market and there were 20 that were withdrawn. Now that's just in the last seven days. Um, if, if, I, if I do the past 30 days, then we have 185 new listings. We had 117 go contingent and we had 224 sold and 73 withdrawn and that's in the past 30 days so it's the there people are still buying and selling real estate um so 
if you've been, you know, sitting on the fence about buying a house and maybe you've seen something already, it might be the time to jump on it because you probably can get a, a good deal right now um, because, you know, people are, people are worried about, about what's going to happen. I know I, I am. Um, but for me, I, I am glad that we have these rules in place personally, because for me, the safety and health of myself and my clients and my family is primary. People will always need shelter. People always want to buy houses, but we don't want, I don't want anybody to get sick. I always want this thing to go away. So I'm doing everything I can and doing my part to help get rid of it so that we could all go out and play again. Um, but we are going to have our life back. So if you, if, if you want to have a virtual meeting with me to plan your, what you want to do in the future, the time is now, and I'm happy to do that. We could do a zoom meeting and talk about what, where you're at in the home buying process and what you need to do, because now's the time to get your house in order. I mean, we have the time. I know I'm doing all kinds of things that I should have done a long time ago and it feels really good. So if, if you have any, any thoughts of buying or selling, and you want to talk about it, we can do a virtual meeting. If you've never bought a house before and you'd like a buyer consultation, we can do that virtually. And I'm happy to help. And it's not, this is, it, this is kind of a weird time and I feel really strange talking about buying a house right now because there's people dying and people getting sick. And so, and so for me, it's not, sales this is not about sales this is about being positive that we're going to come out of this and we are going to live and we are going to get what we want so let's plan for that right let's just plan for that let's do the right thing right now and plan for the future and if i can help you in any way to do that um, i'm happy to but um just for me it's just you know it's just weird for me to try to say oh let's let's sell houses because it's just not the time i don't think if you want to i mean i'm right i wrote an offer because they wanted to but um i'm all about this plan for the future and i wanted to just let you know the market's strong my lender told me that you know the rates are all over the place you can get a three you can get a three percent loan you can get three and a quarter you can get three and a half but he said that right now it doesn't matter if your credit score is 800 or 600 or if you're putting down 20 percent or 10 percent they there it doesn't matter like usually you can get a better rate you can get better terms it doesn't matter right now because the it's just in such flux uh and he's not locking anybody right now so if you did buy something, we would, we would adjust the timelines so that it would work for you. Anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to say today. So if you wanna plan for the future and if you wanna to talk to me, I'm happy to have a virtual meeting. So just send me a private message or email me at lesliedeluca at compass.com. Please stay safe.